Hello, welcome back to another Unturned video. This is John Carver with the Mac Gamecast, and today we're going to be looking at some uh, next basic steps in survival. We've survived the night, we've got some weapons, we got a little food and water, we got some health. Uh, so now we're going to look around town. It's daytime, we've killed the zombies, so there may still be the stray zombie here and there. Uh, the zombies respawn very slowly. Maybe, like a town will generally have 10, 20, even 30 zombies in it if it's a big town, um, and uh, they'll only respawn one or two here and there in a town if you're for a while. So once you've cleared an area, you're more or less safe. All the zombies make noises, you know, zombie-ish noises, so you can be alerted to them. Although occasionally they'll sneak up on you, but uh, that's my friend, not a zombie. So be careful. If you're, This is a PvE server I'm hosting, not a PvP. PvP is enabled, but more for like friendly fire. But we aren't actually killing each other, we work together. So um, just just be careful of who you're shooting at and make sure it's a zombie if, if you know, that's what you want to do. Um, if you're a PvP player, you will have to be more careful, something I wanted to, forgot to mention in my first video, um, because, you know, there'll be other players actively trying to kill you, and especially as a new player spawning, um, that's, that's not always the easiest thing, because you could be running around trying to just find some basic loot, and... Uh, Stuff like that, and somebody will shoot you or attack you. Sorry, he's uh, scavenging supplies that we need. Um, so if you're being pvp I guess you'd want to be more careful. And maybe try to minimize your cover and not just run around wildly in the open. Sorry about that. Um, right now I want to do something about cars. So a lot of cars tend to be broken. As you can see, they're smoking. The majority of the cars in the game are. And test for gas. He happens to have some gas. Um, he found one. Actually... Let me see if he has gas. I know he's got a can. Hmm. Uh, there's red gas canisters around. Let me see if I have one. I do, oh, I do have one, but is it full? Nope, I have empty gas canisters. So you can actually, um, there's a few ways to get gas. You need a gas station. This particular town doesn't have a gas station. Um, or you can siphon it from vehicles that are more than 25% gas. For example, this car has all kinds of gas in it. So, you can, um, now it's full, so we can go over to the cop car, which isn't on fire, and put some gas in it. Now we've got some more gas. You can look around when you're driving, which is really handy. You can also run over other players, which I've done accidentally to my friend there before, so be careful about that. I'm going to siphon a little more gas here. And I'm going to fix this car. I have a blowtorch, which fixes cars. Um, which you can find also around towns, so if you find one of those, if you want to be a good Samaritan, you can run around and, you know, fix all the cars in, in towns and things like that. But we've uh, got some more gas here, I think, to put on the car. Different cars at different speeds. I happen to like the police car because it's one of the fastest. Uh, you can look around, you can look over your shoulder, which is pretty cool. It tells you here you can switch seats. And uh, when you're in other seats, you can actually, you know, pull out guns and shoot. So you can have PvP car battles if you wanted. They can't shoot much out of this car in the back, though uh, if you're in a truck, you could. He's just asking which farm we're going to. Of 
click to honk, right click to your headlights, but honestly the headlights right now are pretty useless. When you're driving you can't pull out any of your inventory. But uh, you know, you can just enjoy the view, cruise around. Usually some zombies sitting out in the road, but obviously cars are the quickest way to get around. If you have high level endurance, whenever some zombies, <laughs> like the honk to see if my buddy's behind us. He is, but his car is slower. Slower high speed than mine. So we're, I, we happen to know there's a farm here, and farms can be some good places to uh, get some gear, get some food, <laughs> smack some zombies. My buddy... <laughs> Got these crawler zombies, which can be a pain in the ass. I think I, have, I need to reload all my guns. Yeah, I do. Show that off in another video, crafting and ammo crafting and whatnot. Um, but if we have a canteen, which we do, you can fill it up at this well, or any water source. And there's tons of water all over the map, but you can look down, click once, re-equip it. Now it's full. Take a sip. And look again, fill it up. You always want to fill things up. You have a full canteen. Scout around. Got some civilian bullets, those are good. Civilian bullets, good. Ooh, wow, civilian bullet. A load. Um, corn seed, you can plant food and grow it, harvest it. Uh, I'll be doing that in another video. Uh, we got a machete here, though so you only really need one melee weapon at a time. <gasps> oh my god! Another compound bow! Epic! Okay, I gotta pick this thing up. Um, there is mic in the game, but I'm since I'm recording, I'm not actually talking to it. Uh, not actually talking to it, talking to him. Um, uh, drop the military bullets. I already have plenty of those. So we just found a compound bow, which is really the best bow in the game. It only has one ammo on it, so I'm not going to use it right now. So you can retrieve it. Uh, you can also add tactical um, things to it. Attachments. You can add attachments to this bow, which is why it makes it so good. Uh, what else? More civilian bullets. Epic. So he's filled up our car with gas. And uh, that'll probably be it for this video. We've done pretty good. We've uh, got ourselves a car. We've got ourselves some gear and a bow and filled up our water. And just discussion, yeah, discussing spawn locations of items. Once you know, you can go look for certain things if you want them. Um, so, okay, that'll be it for this video. I'll be back shortly with another one, and maybe we'll do some basic crafting.